From six million years ago, the southern ape gradually evolved into the modern human, what we are today. The transition from ape to human involved many dramatic changes and adaptions. What were they? And what were the stages of human evolution? Before we begin, you might like to know what human evolution actually is. For centuries, scientists have been discovering fossils, tools and other natural evidence to assist in gaining knowledge of how we evolved. They say that we evolved from the ape, gradually changing and adapting over a period of more than 6 million years. As the world evolved, we evolved. Furthermore, an Englishman, Charles Darwin, once concluded, we are all related to one ancestor, the ape, and this changed evolutionary studies forever. Australopithecus afarensis was one of the longest lived and best known early human species. Also named Lucy's species after a famous fossil, they lived from 3.85 to 2.95 million years ago in Eastern Africa. They had ape-like human characteristics and face proportions, and these characteristics were having a flat nose, a long lower jaw with a brain one third of the size of humans today. This is only 500 cubic centimetres. The average male was 4 foot 11 and the female 3 foot 5. They had strong arms and curved hands, perfect for climbing trees. They were also bipedal, meaning they regularly stood on two legs. They had a mainly plant-based diet, which consisted of leaves, fruits, seeds, roots, nuts, the occasional small vertebrae, and insects. The next main stage of evolution was Homo habilis, one of the earliest members of the genus Homo. The Homo habilis lived from 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago in eastern and southern Africa. They were known as handy man because they were the first to fully develop the use of tools. Their average height was 3 foot 4 to 4 foot 5 and it's suspected that their brain was slightly larger due to their knowledge with tools that they suddenly gained. The tools they produced were stone hammers with flaked edges and historically formatted knives. These were possibly used to butcher their prey which they ate along with leaves and woody plants. The next main stage was Homo erectus when species began developing more human-like proportions. The Homo erectus lived 1.89 million years ago to 143,000 years ago. They evolved in northern, eastern and southern Africa and western and eastern Asia. Their average height was 4 foot 9 to 6 foot 1. As their brain was larger and they were taller, they required more energy. So hunting animals to eat would give them the necessary proteins and nutrients for survival. This was an adaption to the tropical climate. There was also evidence of cooking in campfires as well as social interaction. Homo neanderthalensis or Neanderthals was the next stage of development and the shortest. Neanderthals are our closest extinct human relative. The most defining features that differed from humans were their cheekbones and huge nose, as well as being shorter and bulker. This was an adaption to living in a cold climate. They lived from 200,000 years ago to 40,000 years ago and evolved in Europe, the Southwest, and Asia. Their average height was 5 foot 1 to 5 foot 5. Their diet consisted of meat and plant foods. However, this was less available during the winter, forcing them to exploit themselves to heavier doses of meat. They hunted deers and other game animals using wooden spears. If they lived on coastal areas, they would hunt seals, fish, or even dolphins. Scientists also discovered that they controlled fire, had clothing, and even shelter. The species that you and all other humans belong to on this planet is Homo sapiens. They have lived here for 200,000 years, learning to adapt to the unstable environment in Africa. 
while experiencing a dramatic climate change. Humans are characterized by their lighter build of skeletons and their extremely large brain of 1,300 cubic centimeters. This is three times the size of the Australopithecus afarensis brain. Humans learn to adapt to their changing environment by hunting and gathering their own food, just like earlier species. Take one look around you. There's no need to explain how much more established humans are today. As you can see, evolution involved huge adaptions and changes over time. More skills were developed as they developed and as the world developed. Scientists are learning new things about each species every day, including us. Now, my question for you is, are we still evolving? What does the future hold for us in one million years time?